Hello everyone. So for today I was thinking we can make some toppers from old packaging. These are Blue Fern Studios. This is Life's Little Occasions. It's just old packaging. Again. Just thought it'd be fun to use something that I just have in my to-do box ready to go that's been desperately wanting to be used. So that was what I was figuring we could do. Now I was thinking here would be perfect to glue something. some kind of piece down that part and then I'm going to take off this other bit here So this is what I've been thinking with this piece in particular. I just really wanted to glue a piece of fabric over top of this. I'm fine with this being stapled on. Again, I just thought It just creates a functional way of keeping this part on. And I'm okay with it hanging because, again, this is going to get glued. It's a topper for a future journal, so we don't necessarily need it. piece will be glued on to something. Now I was thinking something like this would be cute with a little something like this. On here. Maybe that. Just to give it a little bit of contrast. Yeah, I kind of like that. I just don't know why, but definitely seems like what I want to do. I know I'm just like taking my time trying to glue this to the best of my ability.
All right. Now I'm going to glue this. lovely piece down and I was thinking about having this piece just gently covering it but now I'm thinking it may not be the best idea in the world you know what I am I'm gonna just cut off this little tiny part here and glue it down like that. So again, it's just an easy little topper for on top of a journal. So like for example, what we did here, we made it the outside portion of it, but we didn't make the inside. We just stick it on. I find making toppers are very handy. They come in handy for different things. And actually, I have a fantastic idea of where this topper is going to end up. I've been working on or getting started the idea of a bell or Beauty and the Beast themed journal and I thought this would kind of go with make a great topper for this piece so I'm actually going to set it aside. <laughs> This one, sinking this. And that maybe have some pretty gauze type stuff in the background. This is just a piece of gauze, obviously, here. Fore and back of this piece. And then lay that over top. Ooh, I like that, okay. That's definitely what I'm doing. <laughs> Sometimes this is how you figure it out. I mean, you just play. It's a play. I'm so happy I refilled my lovely pieces here. My glue
yeah, I took the time today and just every glue that I knew was almost empty or could be empty or anything else like that, I just chose to glue or fill today. Ain't that pretty? Ooh, I love this one. Although I feel like it needs just a little something. So I'm just gonna... gives it a bit more dimension. Don't know why, but a nice little frame sometimes can make all the difference. Yeah. Again, I just think that makes a huge difference in it. And I just use my color pops. So if you ever wonder why I get so many random supplies, which does happen on occasion, it's because I go off and use like scrapbook.com has once a week, like a free item is what they call it but in all reality you have to pay for the shipping so you're still paying for it but I found many interesting pieces from that I have an idea with this one so we'll do this one next I think I want these don't really want that guy. What about this guy? Would this guy add a little something? I think it would. So I'm going to glue them on. bottom and the top or do I want to do it this way or maybe we should do it the opposite way I really thought this would just give it an added charm, but I really like this one being this way. I can say that much. Maybe once... Ooh. Okay, I guess that's the way we're going to have it.
sometimes you just have to fiddle until you feel like it looks right and then just go for it. Unless I just stick them in the middle. I could do that easily. Kinda embossed one of them on the wrong side and I'm not sure which one, so this is gonna work. This is where that phrase, you do you, comes in handy. I really am excited about the new color from Tim Holtz, the new blue, it's called Maritime, I think. I'm excited about that. There we go. Yeah, doesn't that look cute? Oh my goodness. I do really like it. And I'm not too worried about the glue because the glue does dry clear. So there is some leakage on here. That is fine. That ain't gonna bother me. I want something up here though. <coughs> that seems to be the only thing. I need something up here. Just a little something. I'm wondering. At the stamp. Would the stamp look cute up here? No. But I do like the stamp. Somewhere down here, maybe? Maybe the stamp with another stamp would. Yeah, that looks kind of cute actually. So we'll just put these two stamps down. So today we're having like 90 degree weather outside. Yeah, that definitely makes made a huge difference. So there we go. We got that going. Now that one's gonna get put away. Now this next one. I was thinking something like this. Nope, not going to work. Maybe not this piece. Nope. All right, I think I'm done with the Tim Holtz people for right now anyways. Hmm, what to do here? Don't have very many clusters going on right now. I do have a few like this that, that brings in the blue and the pink. All right. That 
TV. What's that lace? There. Maybe we will actually use a person in this. Because now that I'm seeing it a different way, and then something on this corner. Uh, let's see here. I have been tiny banners. Just thinking. Yeah, that's it, I think, unless I find something I may like a little better. Yeah, I kind of like that one a little bit better than that other one. And then I'm going to jazz her up with some pink pot. Of color. Yeah, I just, I think that just gives it a little bit of a pop, more dimension within it. Again, I think adding dimension and texture and everything is the best thing for a journal, like, cover topper. But I mean, honestly, if I really wanted to, I could make this a journaling card because it is blank and back so all the ones that I said could be journal covers as long as they're empty in the back they can also be journaling cards 
So that's one thing I do like sometimes to do is just leave it empty in the back and later on I may decide that instead of it being a journaling or journal topper for a cover, I decide, oh, this would look great inside this journal I'm making and just stick it in my journal. So, I mean, you don't have to necessarily make them to be just toppers they can eventually become whatever you want them to if you want them to become journaling card instead of a cover because it goes with a journal well do it so i hope you enjoyed this video have a great day or night bye